So we go ahead and uh, put the install CD on the drive and reboot the computer. The computer recognizes the CD and starts to copy the files from, from the, the CD to the hard drive. So you can see the, the progress by looking at this line down here. It shows you what, um, at what stage of the install it is. At this point, we are doing the text install of the drivers for the devices uh, on your computer, such as your um, hard drive driver, the driver for the video, the driver for your um, network card, uh, your keyboard, and so on. So you see all the drivers being installed right here. Now I am uh, recording this uh, using VMware, so the top buttons that you see on the screen belong to the program VMware. On your actual install, uh, they will not appear, so disregard the top buttons on your screen as they are part of the program that I am using to record this uh, install. Now you can see that it's installing the SCSI drivers in case your computer has uh, any SCSI controllers. Of course, your computer must have the drivers so that uh, the devices can work. Without the proper drivers, your devices such as the CD drive, your uh, video card or network card will not work properly. So those are the drivers that Windows um, installs, and there are um, generic drivers. Okay, so now we have the XP Professional Setup uh, window. It's asking us here. Uh, first, it welcomes us to the setup, and we follow the instructions here. It says to set up Windows uh, XP Presenter. To repair Windows, press R. To quit press uh, F3. So the choice uh, here is to press enter. So I press enter on my keyboard. You can see the um, choices uh, on the lower left hand side. So I press enter and the computer continues giving us a message to um, press F8 if I agree with the licensing agreement. So I press uh, the F8 function key.
So I press the F8 key and now we get to the next screen and you can see that we have 12,284 uh, megabytes of uh, unpartitioned space and down here we see that we have to press enter to install or we press the letter C to create a partition or F3 to quit but however since the partition is already exists uh, we will press the enter key now we're going to uh, format that partition using the NTFS file system. Now Windows XP is formatting the partition. Now it will copy the files from the CD to the hard drive. Now these files are compressed so that right now the files are being copied and you can see the names of the files on the lower right hand side. Down here you will see the files uh, as they are being copied from the CD to the hard drive. Now the files are in alphabetical sequence so you will see the uh, files uh, being uh, copied in alphabetical order. So right now it is copying the driver that cabinet file which is uh, one of the larger files uh, uh, which are the compressed files. Uh, up to now we are at the 11% completion. Okay, so it continues and now uh, it, it is installing the uh, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. So files beginning with those letters are being copied now the files starting with the letter N now the O's now the P the Q R S the T the W's and you see that now we're at 43 percent of completion of uh, copying files so this is the first uh, stage, which is the text text uh, mode of install. We have not yet seen any windows or desktops. So right now we only see uh, text. For the next um, stage, uh, we will um, reboot. The computer will reboot automatically and it comes back, uh, it, it will um, reboot into the uh, Windows mode. So right now still copying files. You can see down here that is uh, copying the files from the CD, from the CD uh, into the hard drive. I wish to remind you that um, even though Windows XP comes with uh, generic drivers for your hardware that you should have your uh, specific drivers for your computer. For example, if you have a Dell computer, you must go to the Dell website and download the drivers for your specific model. Similarly, if you have an HP computer, you will go to the HP or the Compaq website and download the appropriate drivers for the model of your computer.
Okay, we're approaching 80% of completion of copying files. In addition to the drivers, I wish to remind you that after completion of the installation of Windows XP, uh, we will need to install the latest service packs. Again, you would go to the Microsoft website, do a search for uh, Windows XP Service Pack 3, which is the latest service pack, and you would install that the service pack as well as any other updates. Now the computer will reboot automatically in uh, 8 seconds. If you wish to restart manually, you could press the Enter key. So the computer has finished the text mode installation and now we'll see for the first time we see some um, uh, some graphics on the screen and you can see the the bar moving from left to right showing that it is uh, processing the information at this process at this stage we're coming to the graphic, the graphic uh, interface uh, installation stage, and you can see that we have completed three sections: the collecting of information, the dynamic update, preparing the installation. Now we are coming to the fourth section, which is uh, installing of the Windows um, operating system. Now, if you remember, the computer has copied the files from the CD to the hard drive. So at this time, the computer is uh, reading the files from the hard drive, uncompressing them since the files are compressed. So it will take time to uncompress them and install. After this uh, is completed, this process is completed, we will go to the fifth stage, which is finalizing the installation. In, in other words, uh, being sure that all of your devices are recognized, deleting any installation files, and uh, configuring your devices, uh, such as your uh, video card, your network card, your sound card, etc., and then uh, rebooting for the final time. So you can see down here, this uh, graphic shows that uh, it is progressing. Normally, installation takes uh, between half an hour. To 45 minutes depending on the speed of your computer obviously the faster your computer is the faster the installation will complete at present is given us a message here that the setup will complete in 37 minutes now we see the progress bar seeing that uh, it is installing the devices again like your uh, keyboard, your mouse, your uh, graphics card, your sound card, network cards, etc. You will